Ansar Hassan, he is in Roseville, and he has more on preparations that are taking place at this hour in Placer County. Ansar? That's right, Sam, Adrian. We've been out here for a while, and this crowd behind me just continues to get bigger and bigger. Folks here in Roseville know that their city is prone to flooding. So, providing sand and bags is one of the many steps the city is taking to help residents get ready for this weekend's massive storm. Is this fun? Uh, no. <laughs> It may not be fun, but Nicholas Crown knows filling up these sandbags will help protect his property. It's uh, concerning. It's a lot of water in a short amount of time, so it uh, definitely can cause some problems. And problems around flooding is what the city of Roseville is hoping to avoid ahead of Sunday's massive storm. The sign is just to serve as a reminder to folks in the community that water did get up this high during our flood of record in January of 1995. Carl Walker, a civil engineer with Roseville, says the city has made huge improvements since the devastating floods of 1995. The city's invested over $20 million to upgrade infrastructure. That includes building levees and flood walls, widening streams, and installing water pumps. He hopes the improvements will help out this weekend. With those improvements, we have better capacity than we had back in 1995. The city is also invested in public outreach, using mailers and social media to encourage residents to do their part, such as rake up leaves and clean out storm drains. It helps in keeping the water moving along so that it gets off the streets and into the creeks, and that's where it needs to be. So keeping those drain inlets clear is the key to that. I'm about five and a half, so you're looking at my puppy right about here. Herb McIndoe's house was damaged in the 95 flooding. He's done what he's can ahead of Sunday's storm, but he says the changes the city has made has changed his life. Build a brim, take out the houses and build this and completely redid this up. Oh, absolutely. Best thing you ever did. Now, one of the big concerns for the city is what happens after Sunday. Tuesday is supposed to be the next big day for rain, but that may not be enough time for water levels to drop. And if they don't, that increases the chance for more flooding. Well, that's a good point, Unser. I mean, if these are back to back to back, there could be some serious problems out there, not just there, but elsewhere. All right, thanks a lot. Live for us tonight in Roseville. Now, you see.